Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to record your screen for free in Windows 10. I'll have a quick tip first before we get into the main method, so it's up to you which one you want to choose. Both of the options I have are completely free and will have no watermark. The first option doesn't require you to download anything and the second method will require some free software. Don't worry though, it's widely used and it's what I'm currently using to record all of my videos. Remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe if the video helps. Let's get into the first method. The first method is to use the built-in screen recording feature in Windows 10. There is one problem with this, but that might not be a problem depending on the content you want to record. This will only record apps and games, so if you want to be able to record everything that happens on your screen, then this might not be the best option, so feel free to skip ahead to option 2, which will be the main method. It might be worth a try though, so have a look and see what you think to the Windows 10 recording feature. We'll set it up first, and the way to do that is to go to the main settings page. You can get there by clicking on the cog icon within the start menu. In the settings, choose gaming, and then click on captures from the options on the left. This is the page that will allow you to change some of the settings for the recording. Have a look through and feel free to change whatever you want. The main things you want to change are the recorded audio and recorded video options, and you don't really need to worry about the options under the background recording heading. For example, you can change the quality of the audio and video, and also the volume of the audio. You can change these at any time after testing out the recording. Before you leave this page, make a note of or change the destination folder for the recordings so you can access them later. Once you are happy with the options, you can close the settings. To now begin recording and to change some more settings, use the keyboard shortcut of the Windows button and the G key at the same time. This will open the Xbox game bar. If they aren't open already, you need to add the audio and capture widgets. These should be the first two options on the bar at the top, and you can click on them to add them. The capture widget allows you to begin recording and also mute and unmute the mic. The audio widget allows you to edit the volume of the sound, and also if you click on voice, you can set the mic you want to record from. Click on the record icon, and then you can test it out. These settings, or the recording status and timer, won't appear in your recording. We'll now move on to the second method, which will require us to get some software. As I mentioned at the beginning, it's very popular, and it's what I use at the moment. I'll take you through the setup step by step, so you shouldn't run into any problems. The software is called Streamlabs OBS, and if you wanted, it could be used for live streams too. Head to the link in the description to go to the website we're going to get it from. After following the link, you should see this page, or it might look slightly different if you are watching this in the future. Click on the Download Streamlabs button to begin the download, and let it fully complete. Once it has completed, click on it to run it. You now need to click on Yes on the User Account Control screen. After this, the installer window will open. Click on I agree after looking through the license agreement. You now need to choose a destination folder for the software to be installed into. The default one should be fine, so you only really need to change it if you want it to be in a specific location. Click install, and allow the software to install. It shouldn't take too long. After completing, you can click finish and keep the box checked to make the program start when you close the window. When the software opens, you should see a preview of the screen. If you don't see this, click on the plus icon in the Sources section, and then select Display Capture, and then Add Source. Choose Main Monitor, and then Add Source again. You can follow this exact method to add a different source. For example, if you wanted to add an image overlay, you can select Image when selecting the source type to add. The Mixer section to the right of Sources is where you can check your mic volume, and also the volume of your PC that it will record. 
We'll now go through the settings within the software to make sure it is set up correctly for you. Open the settings by clicking on the cog icon in the bottom left, and if you just want to record, then you only need to focus on the video and audio tabs in the settings. Start with the audio tab, and at the top you can change the quality of the audio recorded. This is up to you, but if you set it to 48kHz, that should be good. Below the quality, you can choose the channels it will record. You'll probably want stereo, but depending on your microphone and sounds, you could possibly choose the surround sound options. Below this is where you can select your audio sources. Adding them here will add them to the mixer section of the dashboard. To record PC sound, select default under desktop audio. We'll now move on to the video tab, so click on that from the options on the left. In here, first change the resolutions at the top to whatever you want to record in. You might want to make these match your monitor resolution. Under this, you can change the downscale filter. This choice will depend on the hardware specifications of your PC. The lowest option on the list will be the highest quality, but it may cause your PC to not perform as well when recording. Finally, below this, you can select the frame rate. You'll likely want to set this to 30 or 60. The more frames you record and the higher the resolution you choose, the slower your PC will run, so bear this in mind if you want to record demanding programs. Click on done once you have changed the settings you want. Feel free to look through more of these settings, such as hotkeys, to personalise your experience. Currently, when you start recording from the dashboard, the only evidence that you are recording is the icon in the taskbar, However, I have a quick tip to make this not show up in the recording. When you want to record, open another desktop. To do this, press the Windows key and Tab key at the same time and choose New Desktop at the top. When you do this, you can record in one desktop and do whatever you want to record in the other, so it won't appear that you are recording. And so that is how to record your screen for free in Windows 10 with no watermark. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways you can speed up your Windows 10 PC. This might help you to record at better frame rates and resolutions if you are struggling. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. And if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.